Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Football Manager 2020 Zero to Hero Series with the Youth Factory FC. This is episode number 18. It is now mid-late January. I believe we're on uh, like January 20th at this point. And so, of course, transfer news is the big story. But also, the league, as Scott Frame opens up with a goal just three minutes into this one, his 16th of the season. It's Gregory with the assist. Warren setting that one up. The clearance doesn't make it out. But uh, is that McKinnon who stole that clearing header to knock it up to uh, Gregory, who then set it up for Frame? That was a nice goal. So... As we uh, now lead 2-0 with Eddie Warren getting his fourth goal of the season, assisted by Stephen Owen. Owen just coming back from injury. Uh, only cleared to play about 75 in this one, so depending on how he's doing, we might uh, bring him out a little bit earlier if we're comfortable in this game. Where we're at on the transfer front. Uh, first off, non-player personnel, staff. Uh, if you remember last episode, our U18s coach, as the uh, crowd is just cheering like mad right now, the U18s head coach was uh, sniped from us and went to a couple divisions below us to uh, take the head coaching role, which, okay, fine, good for him. Uh, nice ball from Fred Gregory. Taps it in. Oh, goal? Really? Clappison, so he didn't get the tap. It was off the center back oh okay Milrick uh, tripped Gregory as he went to tap it in Clappison had first done the back pass to the keeper and the keeper couldn't get it he ends up tripping uh, Gregory instead and it's 3-0 anyway uh, we picked up a new U18's head coach pretty good one actually and it looks like nailed down injured unfortunate for him don't like to see that. On the transfer front, everybody and their mother and their father and their sister and their brother and their cousin uh, and their best friend and their worst enemy, they all want my whole team. <laughs> the whole team. Uh, we are getting offers from everywhere. Premier League, ch championship, down to teams that are in tiers below us uh, trying to get our guys so it's a little annoying but at the same time it is what it is and uh, we got good players and Gregory does it again steals one off keeper at least this time the keeper tried to do something uh, but he really got caught out this back pass this pressure this Gagan press you see these guys just going back 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 don't give me the ball don't give me the ball Keeper makes that first touch, stepping up, ready to clear it long, and Gregory uh, intercepts him before he, just before he gets to it for a second touch. Played it too far out in front, and Keeper's rating really dropped from that, down to a 6.1 for him, and it's 4-0, and it's not even halftime. Uh, Stephen Owen, I will probably sub him off at, at the half now, at, at this point, as he goes and makes a nice play there. Show me why I should keep him on the field. <laughs> But uh, I'd like to help him in his recovery. 14-3 on the shots. 4-0 in the locker room. And you can see there is some droppage in morale through the team. And so much of that comes down to players that aren't happy that I'm hanging on to them when bigger clubs are coming along and trying to sign them. We're going to go badge it. Uh, didn't want a credit lately. Uh, uh, very happy. Keep it up. Here we go. And let's see if we can bring in Gibbons or Williams or ah, let's do Forbes. Out uh, Forbes' is strong suit, but plays the position decently well. So we'll get him out there, see what he can do. Uh, anyway, in terms of the many, many offers coming in, most of them are, are all low ball, a few thousand, under 10 mostly. 
uh, in terms of the bigger offers that are starting to come in as we're approaching the later parts of the month. Uh, Eddie Warren has exceeded a $40,000 bid now. That's the biggest one we've had so far. And Ball is the biggest commodity. Everybody's after uh, Barry Ball, which it's such a drop from him to our second best keeper. I really don't want to lose Ball. Right now, uh, it's up to about 33000 for the top offer for him. Scott Frame, no big offers right now. I don't know if it's because of some recent uh, injuries he's taken. He's gotten a few low ball offers, but not as much attention as he got both in the summer uh, or uh, last year, really. I, I don't know if it's because maybe the board president resisted the the pretty large offers that we did get over the summer and people kind of realize that we're not going to get enough to uh, bring him okay how are we looking spence uninterested tired poor rating uh, forbes actually has really poor rating too but that's not gonna worry about that uh burton has not played in a while but it's Helford that i want to get out there and i suppose let's just let burton play bring in him for uh, Moffitt and there you go there's our subs and we're already cruising it's 4-0 we've come very close to scoring again here in the second half uh, but we're in a good place now in the league which of course we're about to add three more points no telling what everybody else is up to right now but we have our biggest lead that we've had all season long right now it is four points no more games in hand though so Four points is not a big lead, but a win today could stretch that if uh, teams behind us do not do as well. Another good result. Chance to boost the morale a little bit. Uh, next up is Gateshead, but that is not in the league. It is for the Integro League Cup third round. Uh, we'll not be doing that one live, but... Uh, We'll see the results of that. That's our last cup tournament that we are part of. Everything else is league the rest of the season. And then, of course, our end of January moves that are potential. And uh, we're now a game ahead of all the playoff position teams. So they've all got a game in hand on us. But that does at least temporarily put us up by seven points. That certainly puts a little pressure on them. I've praised Gregory quite a few times i'll let this one go so uh, i'm gonna push forward four or five six days and we'll get a little closer to the end of the window here's the development near the end of the month now uh barry ball pulling away a little bit scott frame hasn't changed much in quite some time eddie warren developing really quickly right now up to a 109 uh, aiken reached 100 Owen and Gregory are both drawing close. Moffat's been kind of hovering at the same level for ages. Uh, and Spence, already up to a 90. So he's hit a 75, 80, 85, now 90 each time we've made some sort of check-in. And so that's pretty impressive how quickly he's come up. And David Forbes, newly joining uh, the squad, already up to an 87 himself. Uh, those guys and their rapid improvement really outshining those bottom five who are just not uh, developing those bottom five could see their way right out of the senior squad as soon as I have some replacements maybe in March uh, but unfortunately Aitken frame ball morale is completely abysmal as as uh, Drew Dale that hurts when your best players don't want to be there It's now the 27th. We beat Gateshead, so we are into the quarterfinal uh, of the Integro Cup. And we also beat uh, Cleethorpes. So with that, we're, we're looking pretty good. We still have that seven points, but uh, we've got games coming up here. And it's the 26th of January, so we're getting so close to that mark uh, of the end of the month. I would imagine we've got two three more days before the offers start getting really outrageous it could happen uh, right on that last day of course for whatever reason some sort of bug this division does not have transfer windows it's it's all just open year-round 
uh, but the other divisions, of course, they all have the transfer window, and it ends here at the end of the month. Last two days of the general transfer window across England, and so we'll see what offers pour in, and also a rare chance to see uh, how things look in the other divisions around us. Man United, three-point lead and game in hand over Liverpool in the Premier League. Swansea and Brentford, one point ahead of Leeds. Chorley <laughs> leading the uh, National League. Skybet League 1 is Barnsley. League 2 is Bradford City. Hartlepool, a 10-point lead in the Venerama National League. North in the south is Eastleigh by 17 points. Holy cow, they are going up this year. And a nice 8-point lead there for Luz. And we suddenly have a 10-point lead over FC United, who we play next. They have a game in hand, and Gatesboro are level. Austin Cam just a point behind, Gateshead just two points behind, so it's very tight. But we've got a chance to push a bit further ahead. We're only just inside the second half of the season, so there's still a lot uh, to do. Frame up to 13000 for his offer, but they have not been anywhere near uh, what they had been. And there's a chance we'll actually keep everyone, but tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow's the one <laughs> that will be loaded loaded with offers. All right, here we go. Just over a day, less than 30 hours till the general deadline. Still only 9.45. There we go, finally. Deadline day. Eight AM, no offers overnight. I like this, this is good. But here we go, here comes the big offers. Warren, 18,000, that's smaller than what it had been. Now we're getting a little bit bigger. 48.5. David Forbes. No chance. Reject all. That's his first offer coming in. Scott Frame. Small offers today. Ball just 12,000. I think we have a decent chance, but it's only 9.15 a.m. Really, Forbes? Seriously, you're, you're less than a year. Less than a year from coming on as he... Uh, through a youth intake, you've had one offer of a thousand. I'm not even going to talk to you. No. Uh, I've I've dealt enough with uh, all these prima donnas getting mad over the tiniest offer coming in that I don't take it. Uh, 54,000. Eddie Warren's the one who's got a chance of getting stolen. And to me, if I have to lose one player, and obviously he's got to be a good player, I think I'm most okay with losing Eddie Ward at this point. For one, fullback. Doesn't hurt as bad. But more importantly, I have depth at that position. I have replacements that are ready, that are in the squad. Frame, we're up to 20,000. He started to make a pretty good name for himself with this team, so... Got a bit of reputation. He definitely has some media following. And da, da, da. not letting him go. Ball, frame, ball up to thirty. Ball up to forty thousand. He's a goalkeeper. Would the owner accept less money for him? and take it than for other positions.
not talking to anybody today. Maybe not. <laughs> We're up to 53,000 for Ball, coming from Preston United. 70,000 from Wigan. I didn't check the time there. I'm hoping it's getting late in the day. It's evening. 30,000. 92,000. 54 for Warren. 120,000. Again from Wigan. 515. Still quite some hours to go for these guys. Seventy two for Ward now and counting. Eighty three Middlesbrough. Ninety nine thousand Nottingham Forest. Frame at twenty seven. Balls up to one sixty. That's starting to get dangerously large. Warren to ninety-eight. One thirty from Swansea. Ball up to two ten. Seven o'clock. FC United beat Get Gateshead. Pull within seven, but the game in hand is now gone from them. Frame at just 26. I don't think Frame's going to hit the, the mark. It's 9.45. That's actually looking decent chance that nobody's going to get taken. And there you go. No new news. We made it. Wow. <sighs> okay. Okay. That is that is really good news. Uh, pretty big match here with FC United. I think I'll... Uh, just keep going here. Let's let's play that match. It's so weird that FC United and Manchester. FC United back down into the seventh tier. Now, a handful of years ago, a few years ago, okay, not a big deal. They were what eighth tier, ninth tier. So fine, but with the ownership, with the progress they've made, it's weird. It's weird. It's really weird. Uh, to see them go backwards because they are definitely a uh, club on the rise. Gave a new deal to Stephen Owen. A few of the guys did what it took to uh, keep them around. Okay, no changes. There could be on the bench, so I'll let that go. I think I need to tweak individual assignments a little bit more. Just because no one seems. Uh, no one seems to be playing their ideal role in the positions they're in. You know, we're not really getting the most out of the team at this point. Maybe we take a minute to do that before we jump into this game. But I don't want to, you know what, I, I'm debating whether to do the game at all. <laughs> I do want to keep the season moving along here. See, Gregory is pretty good, but if we go player roles, there we go. Like Barry Ball, the sweeper keeper is very necessary. I'm trying to train him to get better at it. You just don't have anything. Okay, fine. Uh, don't go personalized. Providing cover. Not a fan of cover though. So let's go back to defend, which is the position. But also, hold on, maybe we should personalize that for uh, eight can keep it. Uh, 
trying to see. These guys need training. Wing back, Luca Jackson. Full back defend, but we need the wing back. It's got to be wing backs, which is why I'm trying to train it. Eddie Warren's starting to get pretty good at it. Okay, Moffitt, you are not a box to box. Okay, if you're on the left side, we'll do that. Gregory just needs training everywhere, but that's not where he's playing, so it's fine. Okay, we're gonna go personalized. Let's go with the ball winning and support. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Spence, central midfielder, but attacking. Okay, both of them. Ah, shoot, that was not supposed to be position. Keep Moffat on position. Not worried about Gregory. Burton going with the personalized. Spence with the personalized, and so with Halford. There we go. A little bit of progress. All right, I'm going to finish this off with the other players, and then we uh, we move on from here. I see a lot of the guys not uh, <laughs> up to the challenge on this. Huh? Kenan is, so. though. Just a bit. I forgot that this season we were actually hit with a massive tax bill after our huge profits from last season. <clears throat> All that money we're paying a lot of tax on that and that's what's causing us to to really struggle uh but at the same time wages are definitely still going up and actually they're about to take a pretty big jump scott frame one of the ones who's been upset about not being allowed to leave just got a new uh, massive contract four thousand a week just to him uh, you can see that's a third of all the wages that's gonna go up as it hasn't uh, been signed just yet right now we have an 11 point lead in the league hell yes we are drawing close to the end of the season though last time we played sc united actually did beat us giving us our third loss of the season and it was two nil first two goal loss of the year and also our first home loss of the year after a lot of draws early in the season we've only had one in quite some time so we've been racking up some wins and that's really making a difference uh, in the league standings with 21 in this league that means we've got a 42 game season so we still have 13 to play and with an 11 point lead this is far from done you can see we've been at the top of the league now for uh, getting close to about half the season uh, of what we've played so far most of the players uh, morale is back up see forbes is still upset dale is still upset the rest of them are now happy and content and not worried about the fact that they were not allowed to leave this point season frame 18 goals gregory has 27 and you can see quite a few others contributing including owen who's got 11 
Gregory's up to a 97 on ability. Spence up to a 93. It's the first time he hasn't gained five in a check period. But it's the 7th of March. We are now roughly a week away from the youth intake. And that's where we're going to be starting our next episode. So big step, big time coming up. No uh, added staff to where we have a head of youth development yet. Uh, we should definitely have that by next season. Uh, probably towards the end of this season, I'll go ahead and add in a head of youth development, but then I'll have to carefully navigate that to make sure that they don't go out signing players and just focus on that role of youth intake and giving us that extra boost to that role, even though the facilities and everything else are going to do the majority of it, but they might give us a player or two that's a little better off. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. That's going to do it for this episode. We're getting pretty late in the season, and surprisingly, it's starting to look like uh, the league could be our thing. And also, one more thing, Integro League Cup. We're still in it. We just won the quarterfinal. We are now on to the semifinal against Gainsborough. And just 11 days before we play them in the league on the road, we're going to be at home for that semifinal. And it looks like it's not a two-leg game. It's not. So when or go home. I'll see you next time. Have a good week. Bye for now.